Hi, MATLAB Tricks is back. Hopefully with some better audio this time. Well, we have some... Uh, I've just uh, found some uh, temperature data for Gothenburg, Sweden, the last two weeks, I believe. Hourly data. I have it on my desktop. Yes, here it is. And I want to load that into MATLAB while doing so by writing load, typing load, name, and the extension, and it appear in the workspace. Let's look at it. Okay. So, but when I did this before and plotted it, I, sorry, T. Oh, go for Gothenburg. I've noticed that this data is now gone. Sorry, where is the data? The plot is. I have to do a figure. It's somewhere else. Uh, here it is. And I've noticed that the data is reversed. So it starts with the most recent data, and here we have two weeks back in time. So what I want to show you is a couple of ways to reverse a vector when your data is in the wrong direction. This could be quite problematic if you have all this data in Excel or something, but here it's quite a bit easier. But first we can do it in the plot. Uh, not reversing the data but reversing the axis so we do that by typing uh, set PCA uh, single quote do 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 do, x direction uh, reverse and I think that will bake the cake Oh yeah, very nice, very easy. But there is another way. If you actually want to reverse the data itself, uh, so you want this first number to be last, and the second number to be second last, and so forth. Let's show me how you can do that. You type the name equal to t code, and you can do it like that. It will retype simply and ranging from end which is the last in the vector uh, semicolon with the increment is minus one to the start and this will actually that simply reverse the vector when we plot this again sorry when we plot this we will see that the data is we have to fight. We need a figure. We will see that the data is reversed. Like that. As simple as that. Beautiful. Have a, have a nice evening.